Howdy, yokes. I'm your host, Carl, and I'm here to bring you another episode of Eggs and Acids. We're all about exploring the fascinating world of chemical reactions between different types of eggs and acids. This time, we're focusing on quail eggs and 30% hydrochloric acid. So grab a snack and buckle up as we dive into some science. Let's take a closer look at the star of our show, the quail egg. Quail eggs have been a staple of many cultures for centuries, and it's easy to see why. These little eggs pack a big punch when it comes to nutrition. And while they might be small, about the size of a large olive, they're full of rich, healthy fats. And that's not all. The shells of quail eggs are also interesting, made up of various minerals and chemicals, including the primary component of eggshells, calcium carbonate. They also contain magnesium, phosphorus, and even trace amounts of iron, copper, and zinc depending on their diet. It's safe to say these eggs are no yolk when it comes to their minerals. And now let's turn our attention to the other half of the equation, the acid. Today we'll be using 30% hydrochloric acid. This strong corrosive acid is a staple in many industrial processes and in the digestive system of many organisms, including yours truly. That's right, if you're watching this video, the very acid is in your stomach right now, helping break down your food. But what happens if we take this powerful digestive agent and apply it to something like a quail egg? Will the quail egg's unique composition save it from the acid? Well, it's time to find out. Let's get to the main event, the reaction between the quail egg and the 30% hydrochloric acid. Before we start, I've added 100% silicone oil to control any foam that may or may not rapidly develop with reactions like this. Silicone oil helps the bubbles pop easier and keeps the reaction smooth. As we've discovered, quail egg shells contain many chemicals. And when these come into contact with hydrochloric acid, they react to form calcium, magnesium, iron, zinc, and copper chlorides, phosphoric acid, water, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen gas. These compounds have different commercial, industrial, and agricultural uses, from being a de-icing agent to food preservative, from fertilizer to flavoring, and even a catalyst in PVC production. These chemicals can also develop colors such as brown, yellow, blue, and green. So let's see what happens when we put the quail egg and hydrochloric acid together. So many chemicals from one tiny egg. This is going to be exciting. So we've waited about 20 minutes, and it's time to see what happened to our quail egg. I've used some tongs to carefully remove it from the acid and put it in a bowl. If you look closely, you can see some little flecks of color in the acid. This is what's left of the eggshell. I poked the egg a bit, 
and it feels soft but also firm, kind of like a cooked egg. So I used a knife to carefully cut it open and wow, the whites look like they've been cooked and the yolk looks just like a soft boiled egg. So why did this happen? Well, after the eggshell dissolved, the acid went through the membrane. The membrane is still intact because it's made of a different material than the eggshell. The eggshell is mostly made of calcium carbonate, but the membrane, that's made of something special, a protein called collagen. This protein is stronger and can resist the acid better, so it stays in one piece even after being in the acid. This is why the egg looks all squishy and textured like a soft-boiled egg. The acid denatured, or changed the shape of, the proteins in the egg whites, but the membrane kept the yolk inside just like it's supposed to. Now I have a special surprise. Time to take a look at a second quail egg that's been in the acid for 18 hours. The acid has changed color to a purplish hue, which is due to the formation of chlorides from the eggshell more thoroughly dissolving. Over the 18 hours, the acid continued to react with the egg and its components. It created an environment of higher concentration of hydrogen ions inside the egg compared to the outside. This difference in concentration causes water to move into the egg through tiny holes in the membrane, causing the egg to swell, a process called osmosis. As I remove it from the acid with tongs and place it into a bowl, I can see that the membrane is still intact. That's right, the collagen in the membrane is super strong. As I poke and roll the egg around, I can tell that it's filled with a fluid, and there's a solid chunk floating inside. When I tap it, the chunk bounces around inside the membrane. I use my knife to poke the egg, and a stream of acid comes pouring out, deflating the membrane. I can now see the mass inside the egg more clearly. So I cut open the membrane and find an extremely denatured piece of egg, shriveled and gray. I cut it in half, and it's dense, waxy, and gummy bear-like in a consistency. In the middle, it's dark brown. Over time, it's become smaller and more shriveled as the water is pulled away and out of the egg and into the acid, and the proteins further denatured, causing the egg to become more dense and gummy. Well, that's a wrap on our exciting adventure with quail eggs and hydrochloric acid. I hope you enjoyed the show and learned something new. If you did, make sure to give us a like and subscribe so you can be the first to see our next experiment. We're always looking for new ideas, so if you have any suggestions for eggs and acids, let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out eggsandacids.com for some sweet merch. Show off your love for all things eggs and acids. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Excellent work, everyone!